Hi guys, I'm just gonna show you quickly how to transfer terrain designs or generated terrain over to Citizen Motion 2. This is a completely fabricated terrain which is made in World Machine. If you're not familiar with World Machine at this point, um, there are loads of free resources um, to get you started and working out the nodes um, the node based interface and how to utilize these devices as they're called um, to build up a terrain but basically I'll show you uh, this terrain is built up by a shape I made I drew it in the layout generator which is a device um, which I then plugged into advanced Perlin to make this shape. I also use this shape on a Perlin noise device just to make some fine details. I then combined these two shapes and added some erosion to make it look better. Whoops. And in the end I made a texture. So this height and texture combined will look like this. The free version of World Machine is limited to 513 by 513 so that's not a whole lot of resolution and Maps for Sim will actually give you a warning that you should use um, the optimized size which is 2049 by 2049 the output nodes here are are set appropriately to um, a given location on my hard drive and you should make sure it's 16 bits or else you will have some very bad stepping in your terrain. Okay, let's hit build and it's gonna go rather fast because it's so res low resolution and wh while we're at it I'm just gonna make a 2K Versions as well. And up the resolution. And I'm also going to build this. Well, by the way, this representation here, it's a preview resolution, which is in fact the 512 by 512 resolution. When I hit build here, the computer will generate a higher resolution image for both the height map and the color map and depending on how many devices and the setting of the devices things will take a couple of minutes worst case scenario you may have one terrain like this building in at about 10-15 minutes the 2k version is done you can see this terrain transforms into this insanely gorgeous map. Now this is all built and done. We have two sets of maps here. Let's actually... Yeah, here you can see the resolution of the 512 by 512 map and the resolution of 2K by 2K which is in fact much larger resolution than this window is so I can see actual size and it's very detailed same goes for the height map so as you understand all these fine details really comes to life compared to this low resolution version uh, when we get into uh, citizen motion Let's open up the maps for sim and in this list we choose file grayscale height map browse for the file and we will go with the low resolution first height map this window pop up all over the place okay so I'm not quite sure I haven't nailed this yet but it's an alpha so things may change uh, but for now I tend to drag the upper limits to about 
five to six hundred that will in fact give me the snow covered uh, mountains and if I bring this a little bit down to the minus um, elevations I will get a little bit of water as well okay let's let's try this and see what happens and use a custom image for the texture which is the color map now let's hit render and make this tutorial low res and as you can see we we get a warning um, it's actually one quarter of the the resolution it should be so let's check it out in cities in motion in the map editor we can now see the tutorial logress is available for us and let's load it and it's actually pretty nice I like the the lakes here and uh, yeah I'm really satisfied with this. However, you can see um, it's not very high res because you can see all these these lines here as if the image map has been stretched and tiered all over the place. But it looks good and the fact that you can get World Machine for free and generate things like this, that's amazing. Okay, so let's try the 2K version. Okay, I'm back in Maps for Sim and I'm gonna choose the other, I just remember mine's 34598. Okay, I'm loading the 2K map and I'll set it to minus 34. Whoops, didn't want to go with that. Minus there we go and that's the exact same settings I used on the other one oh didn't wanna play oh did I just choose wrong no color map and hit render let's call this high res and as you can see there's no warning and we will load the map and where is the high res? Hopefully, you will notice a big change. Ah, uh, yeah, we can see there's a whole lot of more detailed uh, ridges, and and you can see this this flow maps from the the erosion node is making some quite quite nice details here. It's, a, it's as if you can see the snow has, has melted and made this lake. Very nice. So if you spend some time and and add some trees. So there you have it. We have successfully transferred a map from World Machine over to Cities in Motion. Now to make height maps you can use anything. You can even open up paint and paint something in grayscale. 